In this video, we're going to dive into the signal flow view. Although you should expect to spend most of your time here in stomp mode, signal flow view lets you do some pretty cool stuff. Press menu and then signal flow. Now you can see all effects and their actual order. Note that this may not be the order in which they appear on stomp mode because remember, you can rearrange your foot switches however you want. Turn the big knob to select the effect and it'll appear here. If you want, you can even edit your effect from within signal flow view and turn it on and off. Touch foot switch two and turn knob one to move the selected effect left or right. Turn knob two to move the effect to parallel path B. Note that once a parallel path has been created, you can also move the points where the signal splits and mixes back together. And when the mixer block is selected, you can turn knob two to route path B out of send one, two in the back. So there's actually quite a bit of routing flexibility here. Turn knob three to manually assign or change any foot switch assignment. So here we could assign two different blocks to foot switch two. So when we go back to stomp view, we can turn both effects on and off from the same switch. If you want to see both effects, just touch the switch again, it toggles between them. Or if you select one of the two effects on that switch and turn it off from signal flow view, pressing that switch will toggle between the two effects. See, this one's on and this one's off. Now that's off and that's on. You can have up to eight effects on a single switch, so go have fun and experiment.